Alright, you guys can barely see me because it's the ass crack of dawn. But me and Bashan are on our way to the airport. Say hey, Bashan! Because <laughs> I'm going to Cancun. to get out of these clothes bed. It's a king size bed. If I open this, go straight into my tub. Get all the way up in here, back in my bathroom. Turn around here and this turns on when you approach it so you don't trip over it. All right, so pardon me if my camera is a little foggy. I'm like watching it fog up. I'm trying to film outside because this is like where the best lighting is. But um, with that being said, it is very like humid out here. So of course my camera is adjusting. I just came in from the pool area. Um, I haven't really done much today. I like laid out by the pool for maybe like an hour. Let me come back, let me take um, some ibuprofen, which is what I'm about to do now. Take some meds to kind of cure my headache while I can before it like gets really, really bad. And then I want to get dressed and like go to dinner and stuff. So I'm gonna look at the times and see um, what time dinner is. And you know, I think they're like setting up or something, like some type of like fiesta looking thing on the beach or whatever down there as well. So that will probably be fun. I don't know. I'm just chilling and I'm having a good time. So, well, so yeah, I laid out by the pool. I kind of did like a little walk around just to kind of see where everything was. And I don't know if it's because it's Sunday or what, but it's kind of dead, it's kind of dry. Um, which probably is because it's Sunday. It's like everybody just chilling. So I'm going to take a shower and lay down for a minute. Let this medication kick in. If I don't feel good, I'm just going to go to sleep and just try again tomorrow. But I'm hoping that the medication will kick in. I can actually get dressed. 
go to dinner and get something to eat and my phone and everything will be charged get like some nice pictures get some footage for you guys and yeah that's pretty much it but we'll see i still need to like book an excursion but i told myself i was just gonna play it by ear so it's kind of like i'm gonna just do what i want to do what i feel like doing I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill. Look, <gasps> that's the little badger. If you guys know what that is, can you tell me? Because I really don't know. And they keep coming out of all the bushes. I knew he was about to come out of there. I can hear so many more of them. That's crazy. And those things are big. can see I'm trying to like adjust my camera is so sunny outside and it feels so good so I'm gonna go down to the pool early today well actually the plans are whoop, I, I just wanna relax I did not feel good last night so I came in here like around like nine and went to sleep early my stomach was killing me like it hurt so bad and right now i'm watching hoarders this is hilarious because i watch hoarders all the time i'm back home but yeah we're not gonna be watching too much tv i'm gonna get ready to go outside so i can tan today and just enjoy the weather and stuff so i'll talk to you guys later quick little outfit of the day i'm about to go downstairs just to get breakfast i have on this dress that i have had for probably like five or six years now. I got this from, I want to say Forever 21, like a very long time ago. It's just a sundress, nothing too spectacular about it. It used to have like a belt or something right here. I don't know. Got this little hat from Target and honestly, I never wear hats and I never wear sun hats, but I bought it specifically for this trip and I'm trying to wear it every day with every outfit because I love this and it just protects me from the sun. <laughs> And when my hair is looking crazy, I can kind of just throw it on and you won't even know. So yeah, I'm really vibing this. I have on just flip flops. I'm about to go downstairs, like I said, to get breakfast. And then I plan on coming back up a little bit later and changing into my swimsuit to go lay out. So I will see you guys. And this is what the path looks like. I just came from that little small spot over there where you can kind of see those people in the chairs and that awning. That's where I just had breakfast at. So when it's like an international buffet, so pretty chill. My room is located over here on this little back half of the building. There's iguanas out here. I wish you guys could see. They were like <laughs> a bunch of them. Outfit of the day part two coming at you. So right now I'm getting ready to head out to the pool. I just changed. So I just have on this like one piece um, that I got from Tarjay, okay? Tarjay with the come through for the come through, okay? Still got on my same hat, cause, well, yeah, this hat is a vibe for the whole trip. Um, these are Quay Australia. I don't know if I ever said that. I got that in like a Fat Fit Fun box. Hats Target as well. And then this, 
I want to say this is, might be like ASOS or Fashion Nova. This is either ASOS or Fashion Nova. I think it's ASOS. I got it from ASOS. I did last year. So yeah, I got on flip flops. Old Navy. I've had these for forever. And that's pretty much it. Just jewelry and a Corona. So I'm about to go lay out and tan. Get my tan on. Get my tan on. Alright, so I am on my way to the pool area. Hola. Hola. And I'm going to go tan. Tan my life away. So I will show you guys that area once I get there. I left my water in the room but made sure to grab my Corona. And I don't even like Coronas. So I'm about to go get like a mixed drink. I just felt like I'm in Mexico. So why not be stereotypical, traditional, and drink a Corona. I'm gonna film some more of the location now that it's daytime and I can actually like show you guys where I'm walking to and all that greatness so you'll see to know i'm having a great time in cancun i think that you should definitely visit you should definitely visit the secrets line of resorts because they're amazing at hospitality you should definitely come here i like really like modern designs and like everything to be renovated but i still like to explore and like kind of be in like nature and get the feel of visiting another country and I feel like I get that when I visit Secret so that's why I like coming here so if that's what you're into you should definitely come here I'm about to listen to music and let my phone charge up a little bit and then I'm gonna get back out to the pool go get something to eat to soak up this liquor and I will talk to you guys later I'm about to go get food then I'm gonna come back get changed into my swimsuit, go to the pool, the same as yesterday, and just chill. I might book um, something for the spa. Just depends, honestly, I'm not too sure. I woke up and my phone is actually doing like this screen of death thing up here. Hold on, let me see if it'll focus. Right there in the corner. That right up there. So yeah, I don't really know what's going on with that or why it's doing that, so I'm kind of sad. <laughs> but we're going to get as much footage as we can today, and like I said, I'm not really doing too much tomorrow. I have an excursion. Tomorrow is my actual birthday, so I'm excited, um, and I'm going on a boat to a sandbar, so I'll be sure to film that. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it, so. Alright, so I just came from breakfast, and I up the stairs here because I just got word that the excursion that I booked got canceled <laughs> so they're doing like some maintenance or something and they sent me an email and says that it's canceled and so yeah I'm sad so now I'm gonna go in here and try to see what they have to offer to see if I can book another excursion for tomorrow so wish me luck Quick little update. So I put my hair just in a pony. I have on this swimsuit that is from Old Navy. So flip flops, of course. These are like the best for the beach. I can slide in and out. This cover up is from Fashion Nova and my headband is just random as hell. I think it's like Target or something. So 
You have to look. So I also ended up booking um, another excursion. So I'm going to see like the the ruins tomorrow instead of doing like the sand bar boat thing whatever going to see the ruins and then going to like this little beach and yeah that's what i'm gonna do because like i said my other excursion got canceled so that was <laughs> that was just so disappointing and then they ended up getting me i ended up buying those glasses as you guys saw in that other clip which i was like oh i don't need anything yada 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 and then ended up buying stuff anyway so yeah tomorrow is my birthday so i'm super excited um i'm just gonna chill out today i have to be up at 7 15 is the pickup time for the temple stuff tomorrow and i'm like so my plan is to not get as drunk as i did yesterday i was so drunk and i was so sick so we're gonna take it easy today and just relax and really tan and enjoy my last like almost last full day here so yep that's pretty much it all right so i am on my way to the pool are my glasses crooked? <laughs> I think they I think they're crooked. Wow. I've been wearing these the whole entire trip and I'm just not realizing that they're crooked. And you know what? These people out here they're drunk, so they ain't gonna notice if my glasses crooked or not. And I'm about to drink, so I'm not gonna care in a minute. Actually I don't really care now either. It's like well, that's what I get for throwing them in my purse without a hard case. But yeah, I'm on my way to the pool. So and I'm going to drink and eat french fries and live my merry life. So, we at you. Maybe that's why I'm divorced. <laughs> It's my birthday's eve and right now I'm getting ready to go to dinner. So I caught myself um, getting in the shower and doing my hair. And that took like three hours longer than expected. So it's almost nine o'clock. And I'm just now like getting ready to get ready to be ready to go where I need to go. I'm not even looking in the camera, hello. Um, we got some little like makeshift set up right now because yeah, it's too much stuff going on over here and I couldn't sit the camera like right in front of me. But I'm about to start getting ready. So um, I guess you guys can watch me. All right, so fun little fact about me is, um, yeah, I don't wear makeup because I don't know how to, you know? I don't feel special like, oh, I don't wear makeup or anything. Not saying it like that, I'm saying it like, I literally don't know how to wear makeup. Um, and it's sad because I own like a good deal of makeup, like little Fenty products. I got Mac in here. I got Stilla. I got P. Louise. And <laughs> okay, y'all know what P. Louise is, then you know what's up. I have like this whole gigantic bag, and it's like what I take with me when I go on vacation in places. It has brushes, um, <laughs> skin finish, prep and prime paint pots like makeup removers a whole palette in here like i got a lot of stuff and i don't know how to use any of it and when i try to use it i look a mess so we're not about to do that to ourselves tonight so i'm gonna play it real safe all i did was moisturize my face so because i moisturized my face what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna take this which i bought recently from glossier and i don't feel like it does diddly squat but we're gonna go ahead and just brush our brows. It's clear, it's pomade, and we're just gonna go ahead and like just brush through our brows. Maybe it'll look, make them look like something. Fun fact about me is I don't have eyebrows really. Like what you see right here is what you get. Um, this is all I was blessed with and they don't grow so I never get them done. Like I have not gotten my eyebrows like arched or waxed or anything in probably like four years, three, four years. Which is sad because I really wish like I had like bushy eyebrows that I actually had to get done because you know bushy eyebrows are in right now. And yeah. Alright, well, so that's that. Um I have eyelash extensions right now, which pretty much take like wanting to wear makeup or doing makeup 
just like out of the whole equation because you really don't need them like eyelash extensions do everything for you and that's what they've been doing for me so i'm literally just gonna brush these out make sure and i'm sorry y'all because i'm like over here because the mirror is over here and then there's one right here but this one is like really far away but you know what matter of fact this one is like on a oh what would you look at that it comes close and look it even has a light i don't know what that like what's that gonna do if i can actually talk let me get my light together what that's going to do for the camera quality and maybe it's like making this look crappy so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off i don't really need that um but yeah so we brushed our eyelashes into place i bought two of these glossier one more time because it's for the people you know that don't wear makeup but want to wear makeup which is me i don't wear makeup but i want to um and we're going to put on some blush because yeah i have a really flat base so i think you know putting on some blush will probably do me some good actually like show you where my cheeks are like hey i do have cheeks they exist they're right here um so yeah all right um yeah i feel like that's okay because i used it the other day like the very first time i bought it and i was like oh okay and i kind of put like a little bit too much and i was looking real rosy okay but maybe i could do like a twee bit more maybe like a twee twee bit more <gasps> and that's not what i want to look like okay and this is probably like the worst way i know somebody's probably like watching this video like girl what are you doing you're supposed to put them on the apples of your cheeks right apples you smile and go up i don't know maybe i need to watch some more youtube tutorials on proper blush placement who knows okay so that's that that's good we're good i was gonna do a highlight but i probably won't oh no matter of fact you know what i will highlight my nose because it always looks really cute i'm gonna take this fenty stick here and i'm just gonna go like this and like warm it up on my finger and then kind of like dust that out so it doesn't look as crazy and dust this out we got this one and it's by elf and it's like a <laughs> let me do this i actually <laughs> do youtube um it's an elf gloss and it's just a plumping gloss and it has like a little tint to it and we're gonna put this on all right guys that's our makeup look i feel fresh so now I'm about to go um, actually moisturize my ashy body because I just got out the shower. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to put my clothes on and I'll show you guys what I'm wearing to dinner tonight. Um, if I can ever like actually get out of this room. So be back. Alright so this is what my final look looks like. Um, I will show you guys in the big mirror. But yeah I just have my hair like two twists. Um, here's my little shirt. I have on heels right now just for my picture purposes but... I'm not gonna wear those. Um, I have on jean shorts and yeah. Um, I'll show you what I look like in a second. All right, so I just wanted to come and close this out really quickly because I know this looks like totally different from um, what you guys just saw me have going on and that's because I'm in bed, scarfed up right now. Um, yeah, I didn't even make it to my birthday. Like, I made it to my birthday back home but I still like a whole nother 40 minutes or something until my birthday and I'm exhausted like I'm so tired I was like yeah I went to dinner and I ate good and then I left there and I was trying to go to that little barbecue thing oh the barbecue was over okay I missed it how they I pulled up they were tearing everything down there was like a couple's dinner on the beach but I'm not going to no couple's dinner or couple's night or whatever that is like yeah then, well it's just me i came by myself so definitely not doing that um and then i went and i don't i really didn't want to drink tonight like i'm over it i got too drunk the other day and i'm just not not in the mood for that especially because i have to get up so early and i don't want to miss my ride or anything for the excursion so yeah i went into the little nightclub and there was like nobody in the nightclub which probably is because it's like 10 o'clock could be because it's tuesday i you know i really don't know i don't really know 
But, yeah, there was definitely... Okay, I'm so tired. There wasn't anybody in there, basically. It was, like, um, the workers and then, like, I think two couples. And then, yeah, two more random, just random people. I don't know if they were workers or who they were. But, yeah, it was dead, 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 dead. And I was like, I'm not drunk enough for this. So, I came back to my room laid up and i'm about to go to sleep now so i will see you guys tomorrow on my actual birthday and i'm going on my excursion to go see um tulum and the ruins and all that good stuff so i don't know too much about that so i'm happy to go and get enlightened and learn some things i'm not really a big like history buff or just like anything that has to do with um ancient civilization yeah geography just history in general is just not my my cup of tea so i'm really excited to go and learn and actually like visit it and see it in person you know it's not like when you're in school and you just gotta learn through like a book and they're like oh yeah this is this or whatever like no i actually get to see and be there and like get all the tea so i'm really excited i might take my actual camera it likes to cut off so, yeah, I don't want it to overheat. So I might just take my phone, but my phone is doing that black screen of death thing. And I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. But I want to make sure that I get footage tomorrow to kind of liven this vlog up. Because I don't know why I just feel so weird, like, filming in the, like, restaurant and stuff. Like, I'm just by myself. And I'm like, mm, scan around. Hey, everybody, look. Look at this. And I know that's a part of vlogging, but I'm still adjusting. So, Give me time, guys. I promise. I promise. I promise. But love you. Good night. Hey, everyone. So it is my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. <laughs> so it is my birthday, and I'm currently um, getting dressed to on my excursion. So it's like 640 something in the morning. And But um, honestly, as I said, let me just tell y'all really quickly. So my excursion... Um, my excursion, they pick us up at 7.15. So I'm like, okay, 7.15, like, dang, that's early. And I was like, I wonder if I'm going to be able to eat anything, like, before I go. So I check online, and, like, the little cafe place that we have here, it does not open until 7. So I was like, well, if I got to be somewhere at 7.15... Like, waiting, that's not going to be enough time for me to, you know, get to where I need to get. Like, get the food and sit down and eat and all that stuff. Like, jeez. And so, I was like, you know what? Boom. Bright idea. Forget the, forget the World Cafe. Order room service. So, order you some room service. That way, everything is already in the room. You're good to go. Um, wake up early. So, I woke up at 6. 15 my alarm 610 615 my alarm went off for me to specifically place the order on the tablet for room service so i sit up here place the order on the tablet i'm like boom all right got that done it's like six what 620 at the latest all right, all right cool boom tablet is done all that's done i'm ready like let's go let's get this show on the road like i can get up start getting dressed because it says it's like a 50 minute wait for room service so i'm like all right i knew i had to place it early i was like i can eat it'll get here before seven and then i'm good like seven it's like probably like a five minute walk so like seven ish i was gonna start heading over there um so i'm over here getting dressed you know doing my thing and i just get a call and it's the room service people and i'm like okay you know cool like they're probably like yeah um you know verifying what i wanted and yada 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 no these folks um was like uh yes ma'am you ordered room service and i'm like yeah and they're like okay um well um if you order on a tablet it's not showing up like it shows that i guess placed an order but what i wanted was not nowhere to be found I'm just wearing this in shorts, so a look of the day. Of course, I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, I was just like, oh, oh, okay, because that was the whole point. I mean, placing the order and ordering it on my little tablet thing I got over there was so that I can have my food. Like, I was just like, 
Because with that being said, I'm like, so y'all ain't see the order. You just not calling me. And it's about 645 or 652 right now. So y'all didn't see that order and you're just not calling me, which means I'm not, I'm not going to get my order. <laughs> He's like, yeah, um, no, just tell me what you want and we'll, we'll redo it. And I was like, yeah, see, I got to leave in like 20 minutes and like, that's not going to work. And then I don't think he understood. So he was like still trying to proceed with the order. And I was like, no, like I'm leaving. I have to go on an excursion this morning. I'm about to leave. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I'm sorry, man. And I was like, this is my birthday and I was supposed to have some breakfast. Like, oh. and y'all think y'all about to send me out here on an ex excursion and I'm not gonna eat. Y'all got another thing coming. So, um, the little cafe place or whatever, downstairs. I'ma just be there as soon as they open up. So 6.59, I'm be at the door like, hi, just wanna get some food really quickly. So I'm going to get breakfast from the cafe place just anyway and just risk it. I'm just gonna swallow my food whole. Not even all that happened this morning, not even all, but I'm in like such a good mood that I really don't care. I get up and I'm like, okay, you know, do my whole like face wash routine and everything. And I wash my face currently right now. I'm doing like the oil washing method. So I wash with like oil and stuff. So I have this little pouch. It's a little, little pouch that I carry all my oils in because I'm like, oh, okay, this is, um, you know, the oil pouch. Like we just like to organize and dedicate stuff to a little spot. So that's the oil pouch, okay? So I got a little oil pouch and I'm like, okay, we gonna keep everything in here. So I had like my facial oils along with um, a massage oil and then like some other facial oils. Do you know that the little massage oil that I had that I was so excited to use on Jay like smelled so nice. It was in like a little little special little thing. I got it from Tierra Ghost Green. It's called Man Sauce. Um, yeah, I grabbed the little oil thing to like get my oils out to put on my face this morning and something may feel right. I was like, what is this? What's going on? And so I'm touching the little pouch and I open it to pull out like my hemp oil. Mm, yep, oil was everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, something's like, something's leaking, something's broken or whatever. Like I was thinking like either the hemp oil or the castor oil or something like came open. No, no, it was the man sauce in the bottle. I dropped the, the whole thing last night when I was getting ready, the bottle because it's made out of glass, hit the floor and cracked. It was everywhere. It was everywhere. So yeah, that's that on that as well. So not only <laughs> did my man sauce break, but my room service ain't coming. And you know what? I'm still gonna have a wonderful, beautiful day because it's my birthday and I don't really care about none of this other shit because it's my day, it's my day. So, yeah, that's that. It's my little story for this morning. It's it's a trying, trying birthday, but I'm excited. So, I'm gonna go put on my glasses, I'm gonna grab my hat, um, grab my money and my stuff out of the safe, and then I'm gonna head to breakfast. So, I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. I cannot wait to see what today has in store for me. I'm 27 today. <gasps> I made it another year. <laughs> I'm blessed. Bye. All right, so it's 7.03. We have like five minutes to get us some breakfast and get upstairs. I'm approaching like the little market cafe place that I eat at every morning. I love eating here. I'm so sad that tomorrow's my last morning that I get to do that because I love this place. But I'm about to go in here and get some food, stuff my face really, really fast, and then head upstairs so I can be at the checkpoint to get picked up. So see you later.
decide to leave in the band, feel free to do it. Captain Rene will. together so I can get out of here I have my lovely lovely passport I have my okay my wallet that's like busting open at the seams right now oh dang I put my romper away and my romper had my pesos in it and I wanted to tip okay okay so I wanted to like tip my driver and stuff because I tipped on the way here when they dropped me off and I just felt like you know that's what you should do Okay, let me back up. Um, I just feel like that's what you should do. Ah, look. Found some monies. Oh, this is 20. Where is the rest of my money? Like, I had a 10. I had, no, I gave the t I tipped the 10 yesterday. That's what happened to it. So I tipped at the bar. I tipped the 10. Well, anyway, long story short, um, I'm getting ready to go to the main lobby. The... Guy just came to grab my luggage, so that is there. Waiting on money over here on the counter. For the people that clean my room, I've been tipping them every day. Um, yeah, and I'm like kind of sad that I don't get to tip my driver. It just be making me feel some type of way, like oh, I'm just using you for your services and. I can't even say thank you. That's how much of a schmuck I am. Like, that's what that makes me feel like every time. I'm like, Long story short, I went to breakfast this morning. As you guys saw, um, I had on like a little romper and stuff. And then I just changed because, well, of course, um, because, of course, I am about to travel and get on the plane. I hate that my, my um, thing doesn't fit in here because I have this organizer in here, so it doesn't fit. So like when I first get there, going through like TSA and stuff, I keep this in here and then I put it into my carry-on once I get past that because like this just looks stupid. I'm literally just packing packing my purse and I need to redo this when I get home. Cause I just don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like this is like working for me. Maybe I need to. <laughs> Maybe I need to do a little something else to this. Maybe we need to, to work this out. Maybe I should 
should take this organizer out of here or something. Something, something's gotta give, you guys. I don't know what it's gonna be, but it's gonna be something. So what time is it? 10:16. My pickup isn't until 10:40. So I'm doing good, but I want to get there like 10, 20 something, just so, I said 20 something. I want to get there like, you know, early enough I could check out because I'm pretty sure it might be somebody else checking out, somebody checking in. It's going to be a little thick up there in the main lobby. So I'm over here putting, okay, I don't even know why I tried to do that. I tried to like slide my foot into my shoe like this, like who does that? Who does that? I need to sit down. So, I'm just gonna turn this. Okay, but um, yeah, I figured it's gonna be more people trying to like check out around the same time. So, I kinda need to get there so that, you know, my driver's not like, ma'am, because I have this like fear of traveling international and not getting to the airport on time. Nonetheless, I'm getting picked up at 1040, but I did like a shared transport thing instead of doing a private, which next time I'll do a private. But then again, I was traveling by myself, so I really didn't want to do a private because I was like, it's just me and the whip, like y'all can take me anywhere. You know, so I did a shared because I was like, oh, there'll be more people from other hotels that have to drop all of us off. And that's exactly what it is. So you can either have it on. It's basically like um, Uber. Like when you get like a private Uber, you do a shared ride. And that's what it is. So I did the shared, the shared pickup. And I just don't want to be like late getting there because they have to pick up other people from other hotels and the other hotels. Mm, they kind of spaced out a little bit. I was looking, I'm like, um, what's going on here? Uh, to me, they're spaced out. But the guy who was booking my transportation, he was like, no, they scheduled it for 1040. And I was like, well, is that going to be like a a good time? 1040 if my flight leaves at 150 and I got to go through, you know, customs and all that, all that. And he's like, no, it's fine. He's like, we'll get you there. They book it based on like what time they think that you should be there i guess like according to your flight like oh i leave at 150 so i can be on the 1040 pickup because they know it's not gonna take that long and then he said also they typically pick up from this hotel last so i'll be the last pickup before we head to the airport so hopefully he wasn't lying and hopefully that's really what that is because well if not then hey we screwed. A we screwed. Um, yeah. So I start to put my camera in here. Like honestly, I should have got the GM size. So if you're anything like me and you put like your whole life in here and you're using this for travel and you don't have this purse yet, which everybody and their mama had this purse. Um, I just got this purse recently. You should definitely get the bigger size and then it's like it was crazy to me too because i was like hmm it's such a like a close like price like the it wasn't like a big variation i think it was only like 80 dollars more for the bigger bag and i was like oh i should get that but then i was afraid that it was gonna be too big and that it was gonna look crazy on me like i'm carrying like a big gigantic tote you know you have like those big old bags tote bags and they just be looking nuts that's what i thought it was gonna look like and yeah no, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I could have definitely did it. So, actually, I should just put my computer in my carry-on for the jump and just say, fuck it, like. Matter of fact, I think that's what I'm about to go do. So, I'm about to use the restroom and then get out of here. I had an awesome time in Mexico. I'm sad I don't want to leave. Next trip, I'm definitely staying like seven days wherever I go next year. Seven days, seven days, seven days, seven days for anything I'm ever doing out of the country again seven days flat out because by the time you actually like get in here and make some friends i made some friends at the pool yesterday was chit chatting we were supposed to go um to a little nightclub out here i was sick i passed out at like 8 8 p.m on my birthday i was so sick so drunk taking them shots and yeah it was a good time though i had a great time we were supposed to go out and do stuff it was their first day here yesterday i was like i'm sorry i leave tomorrow and you know 
look, by the time you know the staff, like my boy Ruben, Rubin, correction, and Luis, like it's time to go. So honestly, I think you should just stay seven days if you plan on doing a trip. But yeah, that's that. Um, let me pee and then get out of here. It's 1022. I love you guys and I had a great time. Bye.